believe that one of the most difficult things about being a parent is this thing of discipline, discipline in the home. And sometimes discipline gets a bad name. It's often been used incorrectly. It's become hurtful and harmful. But discipline is very important if we're going to use what God has given to us, if we're going to steward over our influence as parents with those relationships with our children and those relationships with our children, if we're going to steward over those well and, and really equip our kids to become what God wants them to be and equip them to go out and do the things that God wants them to do, then discipline is going to be a part of the normal family life. But it needs to be done well. Now, uh, discipline, if you love your kids, is probably uh, hurtful sometimes. It makes you feel bad. I've had parents tell me before that they love their kids too much to discipline them. And I would say this, that real love is sacrificing yourself or setting yourself aside for the benefit of the one that you say you love. And if that's the case, then discipline is something, no matter how bad it makes you feel, that will be administered in a loving, caring, correcting way to benefit that child, to benefit the one who is receiving that discipline. And so to that end, I just wanted to take a minute and, and throw out a couple of thoughts. I'm not going to tell you how to discipline or what technique to use. I think every situation is a little bit different. But I want to give you some thoughts. And uh, you can write these down, listen to them, use them, discard them, whatever you want to do. But I hope they'll be helpful to you. The first one is this. Have a clear goal. When you discipline, there should be a goal. Maybe the goal with small children is to stop bad behavior right now and help them learn how to get control of themselves. That's the goal. Maybe the goal is to instill some chores or some jobs or some other things in the life of that child to teach them how to be responsible. Maybe it's something else. But before you discipline, have a goal. Know what it is you're trying to accomplish. I think often we just kind of fly off the handle and deal with whatever problem is in front of us when really we need to have a clear goal and discipline. So that's the first thing. The second thing is this, and, and also very important. Realize that every person is different and responds to different things differently. I said different a lot. Uh, I have four children, and each one of my kids is a lot alike and very different at the same time. And what one child will respond to, another one won't. So understand that as you're dealing with your children, understand that discipline needs to be tailored to the child and you need to discipline them in a way that will help them and that they will respond positively to. The second or third thing is this, examine your motives in disciplining. Uh, I hate to admit it, but sometimes as a parent, my motive has been my child is embarrassing me right now and I'm going to deal with it. Uh, sometimes it's, I just need to get through this storm or weather this storm, right? But examine your own motives. What is it that is causing you to discipline right now? Uh, is it the welfare, the health, the, the future of your child? It should be. If it's not, then step back and re-examine uh, what you're doing and maybe even step aside for a little while and don't do anything until you figure that out. Understand there has to be a purpose. Examine your own motives for disciplining. Take a few seconds to do that before you kind of fly off the handle, which leads us to this next one, and it's related. Don't discipline angry. Don't discipline angry. We would be lying as parents if we said that our children never make us angry. Sometimes they make us angry on a daily basis. Uh, they make us mad. That's a, an emotional response to things that our children do. And it's okay in that it's an emotional response. We can't always control that. But what we can control is what we do with it. Disciplining angry rarely leads to anything productive. It can lead to harm. It can lead to frustration. It can lead to a lot of things that aren't helpful, but it rarely leads to anything helpful. If you're angry, set the child aside, set yourself aside, get control of yourself, move past the anger, and then go back to number one. Understand there's a purpose. There needs to be a goal. Examine your own motives and discipline with the right heart. That's the fourth one. The fifth one is this, let love be your guide. And I've said this already, and this isn't a, a touchy-feely approach to discipline. This is simply to say, if love is your guide, then you will do what is best for the recipient of your love. And sometimes those are the hard things. But don't be afraid to do the hard things out of a heart of love. Understand, there's a bigger goal, which leads us to the last one, number six. Play the long game. In discipline, particularly with children in your home, you need to play the long game. This is not about right now. This is not about this moment. It's not about this thing. Because parents will say this. I've said this many times. It's not really a big deal. 
It's not really a big deal. That thing they did, it's not a big deal. They didn't obey me, uh, but, but what they disregarded, it's really not a big deal. They did this thing that they knew they shouldn't, but it's not a big deal. And so we excuse discipline. Uh, understand, and I'm not, I'm not saying follow your kids around with a stick. We need to praise our children. We need to encourage our children. We need to do those things as well. But when it comes to discipline, uh, what we're doing is playing the long game. We should be, as a major goal uh, of parenting, we should be equipping our children to be the adults that God wants them to be. Now, that can be uh, quite a ways from here, right? However, <laughs> that's the goal. And so you're playing the long game. You're teaching principles. You're instilling discipline now so that your children can grow up to be, and I say this often, be what God created them to be. You're equipping them. You're knocking off the rough edges. You're giving them self-control. You're teaching them how to live so that they can truly live as adults in a way that will impact the world uh, as God leads them and guides them. Play the long game. Discipline can be very challenging, uh, sometimes emotionally hurtful. It breaks our hearts. But we do it because we love our children, because we're guiding our children, and because we want to produce something in them. Hebrews 12 and verse 11 reminds us, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 11, reminds us that even though discipline can be hurtful in the moment, it's difficult when we're going through it, it can produce the peaceable fruit of righteousness. And as we raise our children, we're really raising them to produce a peaceable fruit, that righteous fruit that will allow them to move forward in a great way. Thank you. I hope this is helpful to you.